Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform directory synchronization in five minutes. So we know uh, in on-premises, we have our active directory domain services, which is this. In my case, I have a datum.com, which is my domain. And then I have uh, organization units uh, like development, uh, domain controllers, IT and managers and so on. And if I want to, I can create sub organization units in order to easy management and I can uh, delegate administration as well. So you see there are a number of users here and Active Directory Domain Services is X500 based true directory. And if we look at our Azure Active Directory, it's a flat structure which you can access from internet um, related technologies like HTTP, HTTPS. This is a flat directory. You can't find any uh, organization units in here, but here, this has organization units. Even if I want to, I can enforce group policy objects. Let's see how we can uh, perform directory synchronization. First of all, if you go in, go to any of these users, if you open up and if you go into account, you would see these users username is username abby at datum.com. And if you go into my Azure Active Directory, if I open up any user, this user has completely different uh, UPN or user principal name. So in this case, uh, this user is Alex W at M M365, so and so forth. Now, before we perform directly synchronization, there is a really, really important thing to do. There are three things. First one is to simplify my active directory domain services as, as much as possible. If this is complex structure, we need to simplify it. That is really important because if you have uh, trust relationships and if you have complex implementations, it can be uh, you know, it can create certain issues later. The second one is to clean your directory or remediate your directory. For that, you can use ID fix. You can download this from Microsoft uh, website. So once you install and you can run this query to find out if, if, if there are any, if there are any function issues or formatting issues. So here you would see uh, this user has a space in between. So you can change it to this one and you can complete the update. So likewise, you can have fix any errors if you have in this remediating tool, I accept it. So it will be written in my domain uh, ADDS. The next thing is you need to use a tool called Azure AD Connect. So before we use, we need to perform very important thing. As I said, the username or UPNs are different from on-premises to Active, Azure Active Directory. For that, we need to run this command to set AD forest first, if I show you my forest now, get AD forest, you would see I, my forest name is a datum.com. I want to make it uh, this uh, uh, UPN before I uh, run this, uh, you know, sync, start my synchronization. Let's run this command now, AD forest, a datum.com. I'm going to replace this with a new UPN. So if I run my previous command now, now you notice uh, my domain is ready to, uh, you know, uh, synchronize. But my users are still having uh, these uh, names. If I go to add user, uh, add user, and then if I filter it out, uh, all using properties, sorry, properties, Let's say Sam account name. You can find out the users. I just gonna close it. Here, uh, users are also having uh, a datum.com. I wanna run all the users to have uh, UPN, which is new uh, domain name. Let me run this one now. I'm gonna select this and run this. What this does is going through each and every uh, user and it's set the user principal name with new domain name that's what it does let me double check now with sam name now if i stop this you would find all the users are having a new upn name now we are ready to uh, synchronize now we're gonna run uh, ad connect tool in order to synchronize my local users with azure active directory users now it's going it's running and then if i go to my users all users in my azure active directory if you notice the source is Azure Active Directory. There is no other sources available. Now my, uh, the tool is 
working now what I want to do is agree and then continue there are two options that I have one is use express settings other one is customize so if you use select use express settings uh, use express settings it will take you through very basic configuration for an example you wouldn't get a chance to uh, change the location of installation or it, you wouldn't get a chance to change authentication setting so in that case I'm going to use customize option and then I'm not going to install you know change the uh, location I'm not going to use existing SQL server and I'm not going to use existing account so I'm going to press enter and then it would install required uh, services now I'm going to configure this the first option is uh, use sign in options where I can configure hash synchronization which is easiest but it would share your password hashes in an encrypted form uh, with Azure Active Directory second one is pass through authentication if you don't want to do password hash authentication because some of the strict IT security policies wouldn't allow you to do this but if you have federated identities or if federated ADFS servers you can select this but now I'm going to use password synchronization if I want to I can select uh, 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 single sign on let's click next now you need Act Azure Active Directory uh, authentication now I need to enter my Active Directory uh, authentication information here I'm going to use create new account because earlier uh, AD connect allow us to use enterprise administrator account but now we need to create uh, administrator account in order to authenticate this so let me just enter this this is datum.com backslash and then I'm going to enter password there okay all done now I can select my forest datum.com let's go to next one now it has added two upin suffixes so I have a adatum.com in active directory domain services and in Azure Active Directory I have this uh, domain name let's go next and then now I can select whichever I would want to synchronize so as I said earlier if I want to I can synchronize only part of it only one organization unit or entire domain so if I if my forest has more than one domain it would be shown here let's select all and press next and then you can do additional configuration here uh, users and devices if you want to synchronize with active directory, uh, active directory domain services to Azure you can select that here click next and then if you want to configure password write back and group write back you can configure here but remember in order to have these options you need to have Azure Active Directory premium version of subscription now all done let's click install now it will start synchronizing my Active Directory domain services identities to Azure Active Directory let's begin all right now we completed it's done let's minimize it and this is my Azure AD let's refresh here we are now we have Windows Server IDs synchronized and these are my Azure IDs as well so you will see both IDs synchronized here thanks for watching see you in next video